Hey guys, it's Maggie and I am back today. Uh, I recently asked on my Instagram what kind of videos you guys wanted to see in 2023 and overwhelmingly I got vlogs and gardening. So today's video is going to be a mix of that. This really might be a mess of a vlog because this is the first time I'm sitting down this year to start gardening stuff and I have a lot of things that I just purchased recently to get going on this. I like to start my seeds inside early. For some of you guys this might seem a little too early but for certain things I've noticed if I just kind of get them going in January I have the best luck in the summer. Stuff like um, peppers, I do really well if I start them super early. Like last year, I think I started them in September, and the ones that I did that with, I had the most peppers from. But this year, I really wanted to focus on flowers, and I don't know if it will make much of a difference, but kind of want to get some more butterflies, get some more bees going into the yard. Not only does it help the garden, but it's just, it's a good thing to do. And so I love flowers. It's my most therapeutic thing. It's so helpful. It is so stress relieving. It's my favorite way to relieve stress and uh, I like making bouquets and stuff if you follow me for a little bit now. So I I did I did a big order on Baker Creek. You can hear that perfect sound. It's all the seeds in there. Um, so Baker Creek I think is one of my favorite places to get seeds from. I also like Park Seed but I've noticed that their prices went up a decent amount so Baker Creek a lot of the seeds were three fifty to four dollars I'm sure there's other places that are cheaper but I like the variety they have tons of veggies tons of different flowers so I thought we could open this together I also have a few other items here that I'm gonna be using to start some of the seeds today you also might notice behind me Ugh, this thing's heavy. So last summer we had planters around our barn that had a bunch of different flowers and things like that but it also had coleus. So I took some cuttings and they rooted in pots. I have another one right back here. Yeah so what I'm actually gonna do is take more cuttings and try and make as many plants as possible and keep them in here so that way hopefully I'll just have more to put back into the planters this coming summer. I did purchase coleus seeds as well but they are a lot harder to start from seed than just taking a cutting and rooting it. They root so easy. Just get yourself a glass of water, put a stem in there, and you're good to go. Last summer I took a cutting not because I was trying to root it but I was just displaying it which it honestly was wonderful. It would be a wonderful filler for bouquets. Um, I didn't think that the leaves would maintain their shape but it was beautiful and then it wound up rooting in my vase so I just took it and planted it and it was perfect. So I'd like to do that I think today. Um, I have a few other things to show you. I got some more grow lights. This is my favorite one. Zach got me one of these guys a couple years ago for Christmas, maybe three years ago and it's, it's still going strong. I've got a new shelving unit that I'm gonna put all of my little baby seedlings on, some plant trays and stuff like that. So I will show you all of that. Hopefully this video isn't too long. I've got, I've got some tea here so that way, you know, I'm fueled up for this video because I have a feeling I'm gonna do a lot of talking. All right, so should we get to the most exciting thing first? I think so. <laughs> I really want to open this. I'm so excited. I have been waiting a few days and I actually went on their website and I went through my email of all the seeds I ordered and I downloaded a photo for each one because I'm crazy. Oh my gosh. Mind you, I did seed save as well so you would be shocked if you know me. I love tomatoes. I did not order one tomato because I seed saved and I've had a lot of success doing that in the past. So we're gonna try and grow tomatoes only from what I've saved. <sighs> Look at that, amazing. Can you guys see that? That is a lot of seeds. I love it, okay. I'm gonna pour them out in front of me. Ah, oh, look at that, yay! There's so many. They also send free seeds, <laughs> so 
Let me see if I can find the free seed in the order. Here's one. Yay! Oh, good. Okay, so I lied. I'm getting tomatoes. They sent me the spoon tomatoes. I really liked these last year. And this is the only tomato that I did not seed save from because, well, I tried and then I let it go and the seeds went bad. Oh, I got another one. Um, Pepper Datil? Datil? I don't know. I'm so excited. What else? So it depends on how many seeds you order. You get some free seeds. All right, well, we'll just go through these and I will show you in category what I purchased. I'll, I'll organize them real quick. Okay, I got them all organized. I'm excited. Okay, I'm going to start with the vegetables and um, some of the different whatchamacallums. Why am I blanking on the word? Um, spices. Spices, herbs. All right, first up, I have three different types of carrots. I'm not going to try and pronounce all the names because I know I will probably screw it up, but look at how pretty. I wanted to get three different colors. I got the highest rated ones on there. Um, the only one that I think I've grown before is this one, and they were pretty sweet. I really like the flavor of them. So. We've got these. I also got some radishes. I bought only one thing of cucumbers. I got this because it's pest resistant, at least that's what it said. I have a lot of trouble with cucumber beetles. Um, they kill every cucumber I grow, so we're gonna try these babies out. I have grown them in the past, but that was when we lived in Lansdale. Um, so I don't know if maybe Lansdale had a better bug issue or less of a bug issue than where we are now but we'll try these out and I got a couple of different types of squash I got a summer squash I'm gonna go real simple on my squash this year because I completely failed at growing it this year um, I just think I went overboard so I'm gonna grow one kind of zucchini one kind of winter squash and um, We'll call it a day with that. I've got my brassicas here, a couple different types of broccoli. Let's see, where's the other broccoli? I've grown this one in the past. I'm gonna start these today because I want to hopefully have a, a decent sized plant. Um, got some Brussels sprouts. I realized that I actually have some seeds left over from last year, so I'll, I'll cut into that pack first before opening this. And then I got cauliflower as well, so. As for peppers, I only got one type of pepper and that was mini bell pepper. Um, I seed saved a lot this past summer and I wanted to find a bell pepper that would hopefully grow a little bit faster. Um, we'll see if this, this does the trick. Probably plant those today as well. Did I order two of these? Oh, I ordered two honey nut squashes apparently. Well, that's probably a good thing because they kind of go light on the seeds for them. Okay, what else do we have here? We have eggplant. I thought he was cute, so I wanted to get him. I have so much trouble growing eggplant, so we'll try and do it early this year. Um, hopefully, we'll get a good plant. I got a couple of different onions, and we're going to start those today as well. So hopefully, I'll get some little bulbs. Uh that I can then transplant outside. I get three different types of basil. I actually grew all three of these last summer and I love them all. I got your typical one. I think this is probably one of the most popular types of basil. And then I got blue spice, which is not super great for eating. I found the leaves are pretty tiny on them, but they flower very soon. So this would be a really good filler in my bouquets. Plus it's very fragrant. And then I got cardinal basil. I have never gotten flowers from cardinal basil. Uh, my plant, I think it dried out last summer before I could get flowers, but I enjoy the flavor of the actual basil leaves. Um, I use that quite a bit, so <sighs> got these babies. I also got dill. Um, hopefully getting use this in pickles, but also in bouquets. I think it'll go fine with both. And then I got spinach. So classic, just, I don't know, it was highly rated. I don't know anything about this, but I figured we would try this one. Other things that I'll grow 
are my green beans that I just seed saved. Um, my tomatoes, I do a variety of tomatoes. I really want to focus on the ones that were most prolific for me last year, which was the Amish paste. I thought they were fabulous. They tasted good sliced and they were great in sauce because they're so big. Um, my San Marzanos, I'm finding I really don't, I don't like them. I don't like them. I think that they get the like calcium rot really easily. So I may actually skip them this year, which is going to be weird. It's the first year in a long time that I will have not done San Marzano's. And then I like to do a bunch of different cherry types, like yellow pear, you know, regular cherries. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. Okay, let's move on to the flowers. This year I'm really, really trying on my flower game. I want to do really well. There are some flowers that, again, seed saved or I already had. Like, look at this baby. I didn't even show you this. This is my seed container. And you can get this at Michael's for like $15. It's always on sale. Uh, you know, Michael's kind of charges upward and then they put everything on sale to make you think you're getting it cheaper. But it's about $15 there. And the day that I got it, I cracked it. I dropped it or something and I cracked it. And so I put a couple stickers over the crack and I think that a lovely subscriber actually sent me these stickers. So I want you to know they're going to good use. But I have a ton. <laughs> you can hear them. Yeah, there's a lot of seeds in here. I gotta be careful actually because I have solution here that uh, fell out of the packets and you know, that's just gonna be a fun mixture of who knows what kind of solution. But I love that thing. I, I kind of want to get a second one because I could use it. I have a lot of seeds. Okay, on to the flowers. So, things that I've done in the past. We'll start with them. Um, sunflowers. I think I grew this kind, the Autumn Beauty. I thought they were really pretty. Um, and they were about my height, which I kind of like. I have a lot of sunflowers that will grow to like 10, 12 feet. And while they're really pretty, it's really hard to use them in bouquets because I can't reach them. <laughs> so um, I wanted some that would be shorter. Of course, I don't harvest all of them because I want the bees to enjoy them. The bees just really love the sunflowers. So I got a few packs of them. I got three actually because I love them just so much. I got Tayo sunflower and I, how many packs did I get? I got three of them. Because this one, I've never tried this particular sunflower. I believe that they also said this was like around six to seven feet. Um, so that'll be great. And I wanted a ton because I want to do succession seeding. So I just have sunflowers, you know, midsummer into fall. That was my mistake last year was um, I tried to succession plant. I didn't do it successfully. All of my sunflowers were done by like end of August, which I really wanted them for the fall, so oh well. And then this one, I think that I grew these also, but when I grew them, they were almost black and I loved it. So they're supposed to be a dark red, but they a lot of them turned out kind of like the bottom ones there, if you can see that. I thought they were gorgeous and I actually didn't realize that I seed saved some of these. So I probably, I actually have more seeds that I saved than what comes in these two packs. So we might have a lot of sunflowers and I love it. So that's those guys. Celosia, like I said, I have a whole mixture of Celosia seeds that I either saved or I bought last year. These are two varieties that I have never purchased before. And it's this one here. And then this guy, I'm most interested in this one because of bouquets, it'll, it'll be gorgeous. I mean, look at that. So they take wonderful photos of their plants too, which I very much appreciate. Okay, let's see. Zinnias, a classic, easy to grow. Um, I have grown three out of four of these. So I love the queen lime. They're my favorite type and they come in a few different colors. So I actually still have some from last year. Uh, so I just bought my two favorite ones, which is the Queen Lime Red and the Queenie, uh, Queenie Lemon Peach. So, 
And then the other one that I grew last year, which I didn't tend to the area very well where they were growing, so I didn't get a ton, but uh, this is Pink Senorita, and it is, I believe, a cactus type. I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. It doesn't say that on the pack here. Let me see. This one said, this is a cactus too. This is the only one I haven't grown. Redmond Super Cactus. Right? Don't they look like they're kind of similar? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. So anyway, gonna do these. Love them. So easy to grow if you're wanting to do flowers and you know, you get a variety of sizes with them and they, you know, cut and come again. They're awesome. Um, and then the other one that I got was Cosmos. I, did I grow them last year? I don't think I grew them last year, but I grew them the year before. Had a really, really great section of Cosmos. Um, so I don't really remember the types that I've previously grown except for cupcakes and saucers. I loved them. Um, I don't think I purchased any or they were out of stock or something this year. But these are the three that I got. This one I think is my favorite. I love that color. Yeah, so I'll be growing these. Um, again, they'll cut and come again. They'll grow all summer. I think these have lasted the longest for me out in the garden, so highly recommend them too. Okay. So the next one, I've also grown this, but it's been a few years, and that is poppies. This one I'm actually going to do, I think, the winter sewing method, and I don't think I'm going to do that today because there's only so much time in a day, but I will show you that in the future. So the four types, yeah, four types that I got are this one. This one I know I've grown in the past. I think this is one of the most popular types of poppies. And this I just thought was gorgeous. Look at them. And same for that one. Yeah. So they like to have cold stratification first. So that's why I figured I'd start them outside like next week or the week after in the um, water jugs that I have. And hopefully we'll get a good harvest. They don't like their um, roots to be transplanted. They don't like to be transplanted, which I have tried in the past and have seen how it affects them. So we'll have to be really careful with these, but I'm excited for them. And I do have a couple more varieties in my, in this guy, but they would be a few years old. So I don't know. I've had a lot of success with really old seeds, so I'm not going to count them out. Okay. Um, I've never grown these from seeds, but we've certainly had a number of them. I think they're very popular in the springtime. And that's like violas and pansies. So I thought for our barn planters that these three would be really nice. Um, hopefully it won't be too difficult to grow them. I'm going to guess not because you can go to a garden store and get pansies so cheap. Um, but I really like the colors. I kind of like the, you know, the darker more mysterious ones, but I was like, Maggie, you need to get a pop of color, so I got the yellows. I thought they all looked nice together. Still I'm excited about that. And, okay, I've got a mixture here of kind of one-offs that I purchased. So I got coleus seeds. You can kind of see <laughs> some of these I just showed you. They're right back there. So, yeah. Some of the more popular types, I guess. Um, I got calendula. Never grown them before, but they are good for pest resistance, I guess. Um, I'm also going to grow marigolds. We're going to do all of it. And nasturtium as well. So I'm excited for that. Uh, I'm going to try snapdragon. I've tried them in the past from seed. Not had a lot of luck, so I don't know if I was doing them wrong. But we'll start these soon, too. Yeah. And then, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this one, so either Rudbeckia or Rudbeckia. I thought that would be nice for maybe fall. They kind of remind me of, um, what the heck is it called? Galaria? I might be saying that wrong. Cheek. 
They're like red and yellow flowers that kind of look like daisies and they're cut and come again. Um, and they are biennial, I don't know if this is, but they kind of look... I think this was the one where I looked up the plant, they looked very similar, or it was calendula. You know what, I don't know, don't listen to me, okay? <laughs> I also got dianthus, this is a biennial, so I don't think that I'll get, well, unless I start it in the winter sowing method, I might get flowers this year. Hmm. I don't know, we'll try this. Um, but I have grown this in the past and they are awesome. I love them and they will, you know, you can cut them and they come back. So they usually, from what I remember, they were mainly in the springtime to like middle of summer and then they kind of faded away. And I had a different variety than this, but I just, I thought that was really pretty. And I may actually have the variety that I planted in the past. I don't know if I'll get any blooms this year, but I'm going to redesign my whole garden area. Zach is going to hate me for it because I'm going to need his help. <laughs> he's lying on the couch right now. I don't know if he's listening to me, but he's going to help with that. Um, but I want to make it really like aesthetically pretty because I felt like my garden area last year, it was hard to maintain the weeds and it just looked kind of trashy. So I want to make it look nice and be a more peaceful place to go to. So I got those. And I also got bee balm. These I thought would be beautiful as a bouquet filler as well. Plus the bees will love them. Um, I really just want to have a ton of flowers just to get a lot of activity because the butterflies and the bees have cut down so much in this area and I would like to bring it back a bit. So we're going to try that. And then the next two, the last two types of flowers, um, I bought multiple of. I've never grown them before, so we're gonna we're gonna try them. We're gonna hope for the best. Um, I got stocks, so I got three different types of stocks, and I actually bought two of each. And we're gonna try the winter sowing method because I believe they said they wanted um, cold stratification. I'm gonna have to look it up. That's the thing, there's more information on the website than there are on the actual seed packets. Uh, I got this one. Beautiful. And I got this one. I wanted to get a variety of colors. So I could do lots of bouquets. You guys know, I love cutting flowers and having the house filled with them. Um, and then this is the last type of flower that I got. I thought they were silly looking. And I wanted them. So that's why I got them. So that's what we're working with. Plus the two free seeds that they gave me. Um, I'm excited about this. We'll definitely try planting it. I mean, mine as well. I have a lot of other stuff to set up. Um, I have a plant shelf over here that is out of view. So I'm going to give you a little tour of that. I'm telling you right now, this little hallway I'm in, this is where I normally film. So we're going to have to switch filming locations because... <laughs> This becomes plant area. That is because we have a small radiator space heater in here that gets this small area warm. And it's really good, especially for my peppers that need, you know, a warm area to grow. I don't have to do heat mats or anything like that. And I also have two shelves this year. The one that I used last year, I was missing some of the shelves for it, like the actual wire shelves. I don't know what the heck I did with them. They were detachable, so they just, they wound up somewhere. And I only had like, what, two shelves? It's outside, I'm looking at it now. It only has like two shelves left. And so I was putting pieces of wood across it and it was so flimsy and shaking. So I decided, let's try something new. So I have that here. I'm gonna give you a little tour. All right, so this is our door here, which has a great window that lets in a lot of that southern light. I think it's southern. It's it's the most bright on this side of the house. That's what I know. Um, so this is a five-tier plant stand, and it fits my little plant trees that I just purchased perfectly. Isn't that amazing? And then I got some of these guys that will be awesome to plant some of the smaller stuff. I think I'm gonna do like Solotion here. Um, 
and I'm gonna do my onions in here. And then I have these plant lights. So this one here is my oldest and I had to tie it up with, with um, hemp string because it's made a little bit differently on top. You can see there are screws and then a wire that's supposed to hold it up, but it was a little too low with the wire. The new ones, however, I was able to just zip tie because conveniently they have a little kind of hook on there. So I'm going to set up another one on the third shelf. And I think my bottom shelf, I'm going to do broccoli and stuff like that because they don't need as much sunlight as everything else does. So the last shelf will not have a plant light. I also want to automate this a little bit. I know. So I bought a, where the heck is it? Hold on. Here we go. I bought one of these guys and I also have, I actually gave this to Zach for Christmas and then I stole it back from him. I have a smart plug. So what I'm going to do is plug in the smart plug, plug in this guy, connect all of my lights to it and set the smart plug on a timer. So that way it turns on on its own. It turns off on its own. I can control how much light it's getting. I think that'll work best. So I think first, let's put up the last grow light that I need to put on here. And then I have three more that I'll put on the second shelf. I just haven't gotten that in the mail. I'll put everything that I use for plants. I get most of it off of Amazon. I'll put everything on an Amazon store. I don't know what it's called, like a catalog. So if you're interested in anything that you see, you can find it. Um, but yeah, let's hang up another light. So this is the grow light right here and it's fairly large. I am hoping that I put it at the right height. It's actually as low as I can get it. I don't really wanna put it any lower because I'm worried that once the plants start to get taller, they're going to hit the light. But I also don't want my seedlings to be leggy and awkward and not be strong. So, this is what the light looks like. We'll hang it up and I'll turn all three on so you can see the color. It's like a purpley blue light. Then it comes with the wires that you can attach, but I'm not gonna use that. And then I have the little plug. All right, let's set this baby up. Got some zip ties here. That's how I'm gonna do it. I think that's the easiest. And then we'll move this off of there. Okay, let's see. So I'm gonna try and get it as centered as possible. Let me move you guys. All right, we got one up. I'm gonna do the one across from it now. Okay, once I get those two up, I can then put the side ones up and it'll straighten it out a bit. You know what would be really smart of me if I took these guys down? That would help. I was so eager to put everything on the shelf because I was excited. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Perfect. There you go. I think that looks pretty good. So then what I do is I flip the little tails around so that way they're not poking up on the shelf above. Sorry, I'm holding my camera kind of awkward. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna flip them around so that way they're down there and I can put something up here without it being interfered with. And so then I think we can get to adding some soil into some of my trays and start putting seeds in. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to get the lights hooked up to the smart plug and of course my phone is not, it's not allowing. It just says it's searching for the Amazon plug. My phone seems to be funny with it, so I'll have to ask Zach for his. But I'll just plug it into the regular outlet before we end this video so you can see what it looks like on. Anyways, <laughs> let's start putting some soil into my little seed containers. This one I want to use for onions. I have my two different types of onions somewhere in my giant seed pile. So I'll use one for each type of onion. And the reason I'm starting so early is because I want them to make little bulbs <laughs> that I can then transplant outside. So we're going to fill this baby up with Happy Frog potting soil. This stuff is great. I don't like the cost of it, but it definitely made a huge impact on how my plants did when I started them inside. So highly recommend that. And I've got some cardboard that I'm sitting on uh, and a little cardboard box. I just took the one from the grow light. I'm going to put this in there. So hopefully we can reduce the mess as much as possible, but there will still be I'm sure dirt everywhere. But yeah, let's get the soil in here, then we'll get the seeds in there and water it. I like this because it's got the bottom tray piece, so it'll catch all the water, it's not gonna pour everywhere. And then it's got this guy that fits perfectly, perfectly on top. I said perfectly, perfectly on top. I don't really know how to do this other than just, Take handfuls and go for it. All right, there we go. So now we can make a little tag. I'll show you what I use for tags. I use these little guys. They're little plastic stakes that sit in the ground. And then I use a Sharpie paint marker. This is from last year. Let's hope that it's still good. Let me find my onion seeds and then we'll start placing them in. All right, I'm gonna start with these guys. Onion Yellow of Parma. These are long day onions. That's what was supposed to be for my area, so I'm gonna make my little tag. I'm gonna put two of each seed in there. I have always heard and read that onion seeds do not germinate, like they don't have a high percentage of germination. And I have found that to be the complete opposite. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put two in there and then we can thin them out later on if both seeds germinate. And if nothing germinates, they germinate pretty quick. Um, if nothing germinates, then I will add more seeds and we'll just, you know, that's the thing about gardening. It's not perfect. We will just do what we need to do. What the heck is in there? It's like a big stick. Yeah, I take all this stuff out. I find that annoying. Why is that in my expensive soil? Okay. Let's repeat that, come on. I think that these seed trays hold 40 plants. So I feel like 40 of each type of onion would be perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Obviously it would be a lot less than that. Well, not a lot less, but you know, you're going to get less than what you plant because some may die or just not grow. But honestly, compared to my onion harvest last year, one would be 
fine by me. <laughs> All right. So my next step, water them, put my little tag in there. Well, first step, first step <laughs> is cover them with the soil just very gently. Then I will water them and put my little stake in. I'll put the tray topper on and we'll put it on the shelf and turn on the lights and we'll be good. I actually added water into the bottom tray first so it could bottom water. And now I'm gonna place the actual tray of soil and seeds in there. I may add more water later, we'll see. Grab my tag and Let's see, I'll put it back here so I can read it. Well, maybe I'll put it in the center. Okay. So let me get the tray topper. I like it because the tag can stand up fine and this still fits on it. Awesome. Okay, should we plug in the lights? I say yes. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, we are on our way. I am so thrilled, yay. Okay, now we just have to do thousands of more seeds and we'll be all set. <laughs> this is gonna take me forever, oh my gosh. Isn't it beautiful? I'll give you a tour in a second. I have another shelf coming tomorrow though, so I will probably be back at it tomorrow. Probably not as hardcore as today though. So let me show you what we've got going on. All right, so up top here I have Celosia. Obviously nothing's growing yet, um, <laughs> but I wanted to start them early because I've always had trouble starting them from seed. Um, and then I also have some bell peppers I saved from last summer. I dug them out of the ground and they have little bell peppers on them. So there's that one and you can see back there is another one. The next shelf here has the onions that I showed you. So I did the red onion as well and you can see the grow light is doing its job even though there's nothing to, you know, light up. And then the next shelf down, it's really hard to see, but this is coleus that I took cuttings from. So my little pots that I showed you earlier look very, very sad. <laughs> and then I planted seeds in the rest. Now I did have a six thing, a, a six seed container, but I ran out of soil, so I'll have to grab another bag, but the rest of this is coleus. And then over here I did the violas and the pansies. And again, nothing growing yet. Coming down a oh, one more, I did a bunch of different peppers. I did the free seed pepper, banana, pepperoncini, Anaheim, um, King of the North, cayenne. And then over here I did mini bell peppers and I actually saved two different peppers from the grocery store. One was a red bell pepper and the other was an orange bell pepper. And down at the very bottom here, I've got all of my brassicas, and I actually changed it up a little bit from how I showed you. I decided to do three containers of each, so I would have 18 plants, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> but I've got the broccoli rob, I believe that's how you say it. Um, the broccoli walt, waltham, walt, ham, you know what? Maybe I won't pronounce them. You can just look on the screen and see what they are. <laughs> And I actually turned it sideways to fit, you know, another tray. And then down here, um, I've got sage seeds. I wanna see if I can actually get these to grow. And I'll grow some different, um, 
Why do I keep forgetting the name? Herbs, herbs. Good grief, Maggie. Okay, I'm gonna grow some herbs in that guy. And I have another one over there. Sorry, there's dirt all over the ground. I'm not gonna worry about it tonight because I'm just gonna get it messy again tomorrow. But yes, this is, this is what it looks like. Pretty cool. I look terrifying, oh my gosh, can we do this? That doesn't look that great either. You can see the back side of me though, that's lovely. Um, yeah, so I'm done for the day, I'm happy I'm done. I'll get my shelf tomorrow, I'll set that up, attach the lights, and then see what else I wanna do. Um, next week or the week after, I think I'm gonna start my winter sewing. Cause I feel like the temperatures have dropped, hopefully they'll stay like under 40, that would be great. So I can put out poppies and the stock flowers and I think dianthus I also wanna do winter sewing with. So they can grow, well they can get cold stratified, I guess that's what it's called, and hopefully grow well in the spring cause that's what they like, so yes. But I am tired and I wanna go relax. I've been doing this for a long time. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna guess that this is gonna be on the longer side based on, I had to empty my SD card once and I had an hour and seven minutes of time on my SD card. So yeah, so it's, it's gonna be a long video, but hopefully you guys enjoy it. Anyways, I hope that you're enjoying your weekend. I know it's coming to a close by the time I get this guy up, but yes, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next. Bye guys.